Hi, everybody, and welcome to another season of the Hawkeye Video Season Ticket. And look at the Hawkeye sporting new bright uniforms as they take on Central Michigan. 74 degrees, a 10 to 15 mile an hour wind from the southeast, and 66,000 fans on hand. The Hawkeyes kick off, and Pruitt takes it for Central Michigan, and he's knocked down after a gain of 13. On the very first play, a loss of one. Webb is there for the tackle for Iowa. Make it second and 11. Pruitt tries right guard. He's knocked down by Bickham after a gain of two. Make it third and nine. Pruitt tries the left side, and there is nothing there. Bickham throws him for a loss of one. That brings up a fourth and 10. Central Michigan has to punt Fisher. Puts his foot to the ball, 10 to White. You're going to hear a lot about this kid, the home state product, who is a recruiting object of Stanford and Iowa, chose the home state school, and he is exciting. Therefore, a return of 36. First and 10, Iowa with Ryan Driscoll at quarterback. He pitches back to Cedric Shaw. And Cedric gains eight around the right side. By the way, Cedric would have 135 yards on this day. On the very next play, Shaw again around left end, and he gains 15 more. Make it first and goal. Ball at the five. Kent Call gets the call and gets the touchdown. After the tremendous punt return, Todd Romano comes on with the extra point. Iowa goes 28 yards in three plays. They took just 58 seconds, and they're on top, seven to nothing. Brian Hurley kicks off for Iowa. Pruitt takes it at his goal line, straight up the middle. He's across the 20, 25, and out to the 30. Make it first and 10 from that point. Temp at quarterback. Hands off to Pruitt, and Pruitt gains 59 yards as he goes down the sideline, finally pulled down by Marquise Porter. First and 10, ball at the 11. Pruitt gets the call. He gains five before Porter again knocks him down. Second and five from the six. Pruitt over left tackle, gains four. Parker Wildman on the tackle. And third and one, Central Michigan retaliates. Good for the touchdown by King. Darnell held. The extra point was good. And with 9.53 left in the first quarter, we're all tied up at seven. Blasey kicks off. Tim Dwight, number six, takes it at the 12. Cuts to the middle. He's free. Looks like he may be gone, but finally tripped up. I told you. This kid is exciting, and you're going to have a fun time watching him on this day. First and 10, ball at the 48. Ryan Driscoll fumbles the ball. There was procedure called, and Iowa is penalized five yards. On the first play, Cedric Shaw over the right side. He gains 11. Make it second and four after the penalty. Driscoll passes to Harold Jasper, and he gains 11 before Murphy knocks him down. First and 10, ball at the 35. Cedric Shaw gets the call and gains four. Make it second and six. Shaw again gets the call, stops, cuts back, and he gains two. Third and four, ball resting at the 29. Driscoll wants to throw, finds Anthony Dean, and Dean picks up nine and a first down. First and 10, Kent Call gets the call up the middle. He gains seven before Banks stops him. Second and three, Ryan Terry tries the left side, but no gain. Make it third and three, ball at the 13. Terry over the right side. Looked like he might break three, but he's pulled out after a gain of two. Make it fourth and one, the Hawkeyes go for it. Call gets the call, he gets three, and the first down before Preston pulls him down. First and goal, ball at the eight. Flags fly everywhere, illegal procedure. Make it first and goal from the 13. Terry over the right side, he gains four. Second and goal, Driscoll wants to throw, goes into the end zone, but it's too tall. Intended for Harold Jasper. Third and goal, Driscoll 
Ginn wants to throw. Demo Odoms back to the end zone, but it also is too tall. That brings on Jefferson Bates to hold. Todd Romano to kick. The kick is no good. So the score remains seven all. Central Michigan takes over. They try the left side, but Pruitt is knocked down after a loss of one. Central Michigan penalized for holding, so they're in trouble as Temp tries the right end. He only gains one. John Hartleib on the tackle. Second and 19, Pruitt tries the right side, but the Hawkeye defense is tough, led by Damian Robinson. Make it third and 16 from the 14. Temp in trouble, he's being pressured. Now knocked down by Bobby Diaco. That brings on a punting situation. Fisher in, he hits it. High and down the middle, Tim Dwight back in receiving formation at midfield. He's at the 45 and the little guy is knocked down at the 44. Make it first and 10 from that point. Driscoll to throw. It is good, complete to Harold Jasper for a gain of 18. First and 10 Hawkeyes all the way to the Central Michigan 26. Ryan Terry tries the right side, tries to pick up a block, but he stopped for no gain. Make it second and 10 from the 26. Terry gets the call, makes a nice move, 25, 20, and knocked out of bounds after a gain of eight. Make it third and two, ball resting at the 18. Terry tries the right side, but he's in trouble and picks up nothing. At the end of one, it is Iowa seven and Central Michigan seven. Second quarter action now. Fourth and two, Filer gets the call for the Hawkeyes and he gains seven. Make it first and 10, ball at the Central Michigan 11. Ryan Terry gets the call and number 32 picks up six up the middle. Second and four, ball resting at the five yard line. Kent Call gets the call and he burst into the end zone for the touchdown. Iowa went 44 yards in seven plays, took two minutes and 45 seconds off the clock. Todd Romano makes sevens out of sixes and Iowa on top 14 to seven. Brian Hurley on the kickoff. He kicks down to Bruce and the linebacker calls for the fair catch. From there, Central Michigan puts it into play. Johnson tries the left guard, but there is Parker Wildman for a gain of one. Second and nine, Temp wants to throw, intended but too tall for McMillan. Third and nine, ball still at the 21, draw play. Johnson goes for eight down the right sideline, just short as Marquise Porter knocks him out short of that first down marker. So Central Michigan has to punt. Fisher again to Dwight. Look at the little guy, 30. Hurdles over the 35 to 40. Gain of 14 on the punt return. First and 10, Iowa. Ball resting at their own 42. Cedric Shaw gets the call, cuts back, and gains four up over the 45. Second and six, ball at the 46. Driscoll wants to throw, finds big Scott Slutsker, and he gains nine, picks up the first down. First and 10 from the Central Michigan 45. Shaw over the right side, and he picks up another four yards, knocked down by Wright. Second and six, ball at the 41. Driscoll throws. It is complete out there to Tavian Banks, and he makes a move and gains 13. First and 10, ball at the 28. Kent Call gets the call, tough running in there. He only gains one before Miller knocks him down. Second and nine from the 27. Ball again given to Kent Call. He picks up six over right guard. Make it third and three. Driscoll wants to throw, ball batted in the air, intended for Harold Jasper, and is incomplete. That brings on Romano again for the field goal. It is up, it is good. Iowa 37 yards and eight plays, 327 off the clock, and they have a 10-point lead. Brian Hurley again to kick off. It goes down to Pruitt at the 10, up over the 20, 25. Looks like he stopped, makes a move, finally knocked down after a nice return of 36. From the Central Michigan 44, Ernie Johnson gets the call, and he picks up four before Parker Wildman pulls him down. Second and six from the 48. 
Johnson gets the call over midfield, 45, and finally knocked down by John Hartley after a gain of eight. Temp wants to throw on first down, down the far sideline. Ball is complete to Miller. He picks up 27 before Chris Jackson comes up with the tackle. First and 10 from the 17, Johnson over left guard, but Parker Wildman knocks him down after a gain of one. Second and nine from the 16, Temp wants to throw. Nice catch by Kowalski as he gains nine. Iowa penalized for roughing the passer. So Central Michigan first and goal ball at the three. Johnson tries the middle, he gains two. John Hartley won the tackle. Second and goal from the one. Johnson gets the call and he gets the TD. So Central Michigan answers with a 56 yard drive and cuts the lead to 17-14. Iowa was penalized on the touchdown run. So Central Michigan kicks off from near midfield and Iowa as the ball goes through the end zone, takes over at their own 20 yard line. Cedric Shaw gets the call, 20, 30, 40, cuts back over the middle, juggles the football, he's at midfield. 40, 30, 20, he's gonna go all the way, 80 yard touchdown run, Cedric Shaw. For all the growing pains that Iowa had last year, when you return Ryan Terry, Cedric Shaw, Anthony Dean, Harold Jasper, and all that explosive offensive personnel, we just knew that this year had to be better as Iowa goes up 24 to 14. Hurley kicks off, Pruitt comes up with it, looks like he stopped, makes a spin move, and returns for 25. Jason Henlon on the tackle. First and 10, Johnson around the left end. He gains four, Chris Jackson on the tackle. They get second and six from the 36. Johnson again gets the call. He only gains two as Jackson again there on the tackle. Third and four, Temp wants to throw. Now he wants to run. He's knocked down a loss of two. Bobby Diaco on the tackle. So Central Michigan has to punt, Fisher, Hits it, Harold Jasper back for the return. He starts down the right side, 20, 25. Finally tripped up after a return of 18 yards. Make it first and 10. Ball at the 32, Driscoll still at quarterback. The sophomore from Iowa throws to Jasper and Harold comes up with it for a gain of 34. First and 10, ball at the Central Michigan 34. Terry gets the call over left tackle. Nice running, tough running second effort, and he gains nine. Iowa, however, is penalized this time for holding. That sets up a first and 23, ball at the Central Michigan 47. Driscoll wants to throw, finds great time, throws. There's Anthony Dean over the middle, good for a gain of 16. Make it second and seven now from the 31. Driscoll wants to throw again. Again finds Anthony Dean, and he gains nine. Good for the first down. First and 10, ball at the 22. Driscoll wants to throw. Great blocking throws, and oh my goodness, Harold Jasper just dropped that football. You don't see that very often. Make it second and 10 from the 22. Ryan Terry. Tries the left side, and number 32 gains 11. First and 10, ball at the 11. Driscoll wants to throw, finds Anthony Dean on the slant, good for a gain of four. Second and six, ball at the seven. Terry gets the call, gets the blocks, gets the end zone. Iowa goes 68 yards in seven plays, two minutes and 42 seconds on the drive. Bates holds, Romano kicks, and Iowa goes up 31 to 14. Brian Hurley on the kickoff. Johnson takes it for Central Michigan, and he bolts straight up the field for 22. Looks like Iowa needs some work on their coverage game. First and 10 now, Temp is in trouble, he runs out of bounds and loses one. Second and 11 from the 36. Temp wants to throw, the ball is 
incomplete. Flags fly. Iowa is called for defensive holding. First and 10, ball at the 46. Temp wants to throw, and it's just dropped. Miller failed to come up with the pass. Second and 10 from the 46. Temp throws. Dunlap catches. Good for a gain of five. Pat Boone on the defense. Temp again wants to throw. Now he decides to run. He's across midfield and out of bounds after a gain of five. That sets up third and five. Temp hands off to Pruitt, and Pruitt gains four. First and ten. Temp in trouble. Throws. The ball is caught but ruled incomplete. Second and ten at the 41. Temp again wants to throw. Now runs 40. 35, 30, down the sideline and picks up 19. Make it first and 10 at the 22 as time runs out. The kick is blocked and Iowa comes up with the football. That's the end of the first half. Our score, Iowa 31, Central Michigan 14. Welcome back to the second half and the crowd of 66,000 in Kinnick Stadium enjoying this one. Central Michigan kicks off. Blasey to Tim Dwight and the little man returns for 28 yards. Don't know if it's the youthful enthusiasm, the offensive threats, or the new uniforms, but whatever it is, you can see that Iowa's coming out firing this year. That was Driscoll passing to Dean. Penalty against Central Michigan. So the Hawkeyes, first and 10 from the 47. Kent Call gets the call. He loses one. Gilder's sleeve on the tackle. Let's go to second and 11 from the 46-yard line. Driscoll throws. It is good to Scott Slutsker for a gain of 16. First and 10, ball at the 32. Another pass by Driscoll, complete to Harold Jasper for a gain of 12. First and 10 from the 20. Ryan Terry around the right side, but it's no go. He gains only one. Make it second and nine from the 19. Ryan Terry tries the left side. There's good second effort, and he gains six. Now we move to third and three. Ball at the 13-yard line. Driscoll wants to throw. Does. Ball is caught by Anthony Dean. Good for a gain of nine. Iowa is penalized, however for an ineligible receiver. Let's go to third and 18 at the 28. Driscoll wants to throw, intended for Dean, but it's too tall. So Jeff Bates comes on to hold. Todd Romano to kick. Ball is up. It is far enough. It is no good. So Central Michigan takes over. Pruitt gets the call. Parker Weidman gets him for a loss of two. Second and 12, ball at the 26. Temp wants to throw, pressured, now throws down the sideline, incomplete. Third and 12 for Central Michigan from their own 26. Temp wants to throw, and again, it's just too tall. So Central Michigan has to punt the football away. Fisher comes up, puts it in play to Harold Jasper. Harold tries the right side, he makes the 30 and is going to be knocked down after a gain of five. First and 10 from the 29. Terry tries the right side, breaks free. Second effort, third effort, gains 14. First and 10, ball at the 43. Terry again gets the call. Pretty tough traffic in there. He gains four. Make it second and eight, ball at the 47. Driscoll wants to throw. Great blocking intended for Scott Slutsker, and he drops the football. Third and six, ball at the 47. Driscoll wants to throw, look at all that time. He finds Harold Jasper, and Harold picks up 15 and a first. First and 10, ball at the 38, giving away to Terry over the left side, and he picks up 11. Nice blocking by that offensive line. First and 10, ball at the 27. 
Driscoll fumbles and then scrambles for five. Second and five, ball at the 22. Tavian Banks on the reverse. Driscoll makes a little bit of a block and Banks picks up 11. First and 10, ball at the 11. Terry gets the call, nice hole and may go and knock down after a gain of nine, just short of the goal line. On the first down, Kent Call gets the call, goes in for the touchdown, dropped it, and you can see that Ken is disgusted with himself, but the score counts just the same. Iowa goes 71 yards in nine plays, took three minutes and seven seconds off the clock. Hayden Fry tells Ryan Terry how he used to do it in Odessa, Texas, back when they wore helmets with no face mask. Brian Hurley kicks off for the Hawkeyes, and Pruitt takes it, slips a couple of tackles, and makes a 16-yard return. George Bennett on the tackle. First and 10 from the 27. Pruitt around the right side, and the big man's tough to bring down. He gains 13. Marquise Porter on the tackle. First and 10 from the 40. Temp throws. Nice catch by McMillan. Good for a gain of 10. Damian Robinson on the defense. First and 10 from midfield. Temp again wants to throw, and it is too tall for his receiver along the sideline. Second and 10. Miller tries the left side. Looks like he is wide open, but a great tackle by Tom Knight holds him to a gain of three. Third and seven, ball at the 47. Temp wants to throw, shuffles it to Pruitt, and Pruitt is up close to that first down marker. Make it fourth and one. Pruitt tries for the first down, but no, sir. There's that Iowa defense. George Bennett leads the Hawkeyes as they take over offensively. Cedric Shaw gets the call and he picks up four. Make it second and six from the 45. Shaw again gets the call and picks up five. That sets up a third and one from midfield. Shaw three times in a row and he is in trouble, loses two, and that brings on the punting unit for Iowa. Nick Gallery in. Hits it, 39-yard punt, Miller fields it, and Scott Slutsker knocks him down after a gain of one. First and 10, Central Michigan from the 14. Pruitt over left tackle, there is Jason Henlon leading the charge, a loss of one. Second and 11 from the 13, Temp scrambles, but there is Bobby Diaco to hold him to no gain, third and 11. Temp again wants to throw, retreats, finds McMillan, and he breaks free out over the 30 and gains 19 and a first down. First and 10 from the 32. Temp again wants to throw. My goodness, look at that pressure. Ball is incomplete. Second and 10 from the 32. Pruitt over right tackle, and he gains six before Chris Jackson comes up with the stop. Third and four from the 38. Temp. Wants to throw, finds Dunlap. He says, I got the first down, and the official agrees. As we come to the end of the third, Iowa 38, Central Michigan 14. Make it first and 10 from the 43. Pruitt over right guard. Parker Wildman with the stop as he gains six. Second and four. Temp wants to throw. The ball is intercepted by Marquise Porter, 40. Midfield, and the big guy goes down the sideline, a return of 29 yards. First and 10, Matt Sherman, the freshman, now in at quarterback, and he finds Russell for a gain of seven. Iowa having quite a quarterback tussle to see who gets the playing time. Ryan Driscoll looks awful good at this point. Davian Banks in at running back now. He tries left in and gains six. First and 10 from the 35. Banks over right guard, and he picks up five. Second and five from the 30. Banks gets the call one more time and picks up three. Make it third and two. Ball resting at the 27. Banks again gets the call and gets two and the first down. Sherman now wants to throw. Intended for Demo Odoms and just off his fingertips. Second and 10. Sherman to Banks. 
Left side, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown. So Tavian Banks gets into the scoring parade. Iowa, 48 yards in seven plays, two minutes and 56 seconds off the clock. Bates holds, Romano kicks, it is good. Iowa 45, Central Michigan 14. Brian Hurley again with the kickoff. Pruitt comes up with it, and he gains 13, and look who made the tackle. Number six, Tim Dwight. First and 10, ball at the 16. Johnson tries left guard. He picks up three. John LaFleur in on the tackle. Second and seven from the 19. Johnson again tries the left side, but LaFleur again there, this time for a loss of two. Make it third and nine. Ball at the 17. Temp wants to throw, being pressured. Goes up the middle now, and he's going to gain eight. Make it fourth and one. Central Michigan has to punt. Fisher hits it. It is a 40-yard punt. Tim Dwight will come up with it. And look at this moves. Tries the right side. Now shakes and bakes, goes up the middle. And that's the longest five-yard return you will ever see. First and 10. Tim Dwight gets his first play from scrimmage. And they say, hello, freshman. He loses four. However, there's a flag as they slammed him to the ground. That assessed against Central Michigan. So it's first and 10 from the 49. Rod Filer tries the right side, and he picks up two. Matt Sherman. Nice fake, wants to throw, finds Filer. He's at the 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. He may go, finally pull down deep in Central Michigan territory after a gain of 39. First in goal, Williams gets the call and he goes right side inside the five and picks up four. Second and goal, Tim Dwight gets the call, goes airborne and only picks up one. Damani Shakur gets into the act. He tries left guard and picks up one. Fourth and goal now. Iowa gives it to Tim Dwight. He dives, maybe in, but no. Central Michigan has held. First and 10, right near the goal line. Ball is handed up the middle. It is free, and Iowa comes up with the football. First and goal from the three. Bates sneaks for two. Second and goal from the one. Iowa is penalized, delay of game. So it's second and goal from the six. Call tries the middle. He picks up five. Third and goal from the one. Dwight gets the pitch, gets no blocking, and is knocked down for a loss of one. Fourth and goal. Let's see if they can get him into the end zone. He goes airborne, and Tim Dwight scores what promises to be the first of his many touchdowns in his Iowa career. Iowa went just three yards. It took four plays, and with the extra point, they go on top, 52 to 14, as Iowa empties the bench. Brian Hurley again kicks off. Johnson takes it in the end zone and thinks better about bringing it out. First and 10, Tim wants to throw. Finds Dunlop for a gain of 13. First and 10 from the 33. Temp passes to McMillan. That for a gain of seven. Wondering why we're showing you all these Central Michigan plays? Well, this year we will show you every play that the Hawkeyes and their opponents take place. So we hope you'll stay tuned for that as Temp scrambles for his life. The ball is thrown up and it is intercepted by Mark Mitchell, a sophomore from Iowa City. However, pass interference on Iowa, so it counts not. Bring it back, make it first and 10 from the 44. Temp passes to McMillan, that good for a gain of 21. Jeff Westhoff on the tackle. Temp again wants to throw, incomplete for McMillan. Looks like they found something they think on the right side. They continue to fire away. That one's incomplete. And on third and 10, Temp again wants to throw. Hit him in a bad spot right in the hands, and it too is incomplete. 
So on fourth down, Temp again wants to throw. This one is complete to uh, Dunlop for a gain of 11. First and 10 from the 24. Temp intended for Johnson, and he is really buried. Make it second and 10 from the 24. Temp scrambles, tries to flare it, and it's incomplete. Make it third and 10. Temp for McMillan. He also can't hang on. Make it fourth and 10 from the 24. Temp firing away. Downfield, good. And it is a gain of 13 as Plez Atkins hangs on. Make it first and 10 from the 11. Temp passes to McMillan. Down close for a gain of nine. Iowa says he fumbled. We have it. The officials don't agree. Johnson goes over for the touchdown. That was a 82-yard drive. And Central Michigan closes within 52-21. Blasey kicked off. Jasper returned for seven. Time winding down as Dupree takes it around right in for a gain of 12. And then Corby Smith is in at quarterback. A junior from California. He goes to the left. He scrambles, picks up seven, and the clock runs out as Iowa wins it 52-21. By the way, Coach Fry closed the locker room. No interviews, but plenty more.